Welcome in take 3 of recording this and only reason why is because amazing devs of this game created the dumbest puzzle that exists. Two years of hype for the new Five Nights at Freddy game and all what we got is this. Broken AI, choppy frame rate, map that has to load every 3 seconds. And the title that is completely misleading because you are not even here five nights, but to the point. And the point is, I hate going back. Like, I hate idea in game, where despite you know solutions for your problem, you need to back all the way to the first location where you started the game, just for one item, which in reality you completely don't need. Don't need. Great. If you are the best, let me take a picture of you. Oh, all the fucking goon squad is sent to kill me. How nice. Rot in hell. So we already have Roxy and Chica after me. That's fucking cool. And you know what is even cooler? Monty is only one who I cannot stun. I cannot fucking flash in his eyes due to his sunglasses. So, I believe idea behind the design of the daycare, Teeter, is to go there inside the Freddy. And only inside the Freddy. Because security bot's spawn position here is just simply... I don't know how to call it. They are just positioned in a way where you cannot just simply sneak past them. Because their pattern and line of sight is highly inconsistent, you know? It's not even bug, it's just lazy game design. And I need to check something. Yeah, I have the fizzy fuzz. I thought game will rob me and will completely delete my upgrade, but no, but no. The one thing this game cannot do is completely remove your save file and collectibles. Oh wait, that is until 6am when you cannot save anymore. Tell me if someone find it challenging and enjoyable, you know, to play in YOLO mode. Because I don't find it enjoyable. And how this guy didn't see me? I don't even know, but we're gonna go down... And to the other side. And it would be nice to have Richard station over here. But... no. Nothing's ever easy. So... Let's call Freddy here. Mm-hmm. Hi, bro. Now, I know, your battery is kind of 50-50. And now we have an issue. So, I don't know, is Moti now gonna be somewhere or no? Some of those robots actually calling animatronics and other are just... no. I don't know, is that supposed to be funny? It is not funny, I tell you this much. But I think here should be good. There is one guy over here. Mm-hmm. And now the long run. Actually, let's just position Freddy over here. Or at least that was idea. It doesn't seem to work very well. Oh, I have to improvise, I guess. So, as you can see, there is billion endos here, and the way how to play it is... You grabbing this, this is the key to the maze, which is totally necessary. And now we have to go back. Let me take a picture of all of you, okay? Now, those guys gonna be after me. Luckily, with our fizzy fuzz, we can run. And I mean, very long time. I'm not sure if Zendo can kill you inside the Freddy, but... The way... To this place... 
or to the entrance. Cost a lot of battery, okay? And I mean a lot. So hopefully I can make it to recharge station through all those security bots. Hopefully. Actually, to save some battery, I'm just gonna go here. I'm just gonna go here. And yeah, this cheerful music really not helping. So as I said, this is take three of my recording. Please, take a break. So now we are safe. We can now recharge Freddy unless Gay will screw me and this allows me to enter the recharge station like in previous episode. Please actually work. Thank you. I feel like I have to beg for mercy with this game. So now Freddy has max power and we can go back to Mercedes mates. And if I will die on the way, I'm gonna be pissed off. Let me tell you. Uh, so yeah, we're going for Monty Claus. Going for Monty Claus. Because after playing the Monty boss fight several times, I think he's actually easier to beat than Chica. But the puzzle that you have to do before him to even unlock his boss fight are just insulting to do. Like, who came who came up with this idea? Who thought the making the maze without any hints how to solve would be the great? Would be the greatest idea from all. Don't you think the better idea would be, you know, if you have to solve the maze and you have the couple buttons to move the entire thing? Don't you think the solid idea would be to see the maze? Uh, and what each button do in the real time that sounds solid right like for example i'm pressing button and on like screen in the same time i see what this battle exactly does it's not like i have the special fast map that i have to check every time i press the random button to see what changes that's just dumb forgive me but it's true and i bet many people will agree I mean, why else there is mod to completely remove this puzzle if not because it is totally complicated, enigmatic, dumb and stupid. And the fact this guy can see you through those doors doesn't help at all. So anyway... This is how to solve it. This is how to... Can I... Wow. Can I leave this guy? Thank you. Okay, so, this is how to solve it, ladies and gentlemen. When this lever, when this red thing is on down, you have to press 3 on top, 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Now, you have to move this lever up. And I pay attention how it says push the button, because obviously this red thing is a button, right? Yes. Fucking 10 points for guy who made this. Uh, but anyway, now we have to press the one on top. And it also really helps how I cannot see... Yeah, which button I'm about to push. Or press. Whatever. So now, as we did this, we have to once again... Press this three, uh, three times. Now we have to once again move this up. Press one on top two times. And by the way, pay attention on textures. This is a game that costs 40 bucks. What a cheat job. So now, when this is still on up, you have to press the bottom three times. The bottom two, three times, which is this. One, two, three. And now, vent should be open. And now, 
if this guy will got me and spawn someone behind me, I'm gonna be pissed off. So yeah. This is not the the thing how to enter. Which is actually my fault. Freddy! Actually, I'm not gonna be risking, okay? This entire puzzle cost so much time and so much blood and rising the blood pressure to maximum. So anyway, here is beginning of this. Now, you obviously you still don't know if this is proper or not because I never used the fast map in this game. But pretty much after couple minutes of wandering around blindly, you eventually find the way, trust me. It will take a little effort, and by effort I mean it will take some time to find the right way. But, you know, just believe in yourself and you can do it. So, yeah, that's how to solve this maze, and you can see. Here Gregory has trouble to enter this vent. But anyway, now... Now, I cannot really see where I'm going. There we go. So, there we go. I'm sorry, I just have to save. If not the fact the puzzle to this boss fight is so dumb, I would be okay. But now, of course, I can risk of game being bugged and soft block me. Or like, you know, I can fall through the map like I did when I played this one time. So I'm just gonna save just in case, okay? It might not be not something what can happen to you, but it did happen to me, so please. I hope you understand. So here it is. Hi. Yeah. Rock and roll my ass, you're going down. You're going down today, do you want it or not? So now he will reappear. And if I can... I can use this. Okay then. Uh-huh, you are over there. So basically we have to pay attention on him. Now he's after me. Oh god. I think that was close. Uh, he's jumped. And he landed over here. How did I miss with this? I didn't and you know it. So yeah, this is it. Now he will run away and jump. He will jump or not? He looks like he's not even trying. Hi. Make your move. He truly did. He truly make his move. Now we have to run away from him. Uh oh. Hi. I had a feeling you wanna give me a hug. But sorry, I have my own animatronics. You won't cheese me. Hell no. I came this far. You won't kill me just because you feel like it, you know? Uh oh. I know, he just constantly just trying to cheese my ass and make me walk into him. I know it, but no. I ain't bitch, I ain't stupid. Don't even dream it. Uh oh Now he ran away. That's unfortunate. Okay, so he land somewhere far. It's like... How did you see me from all the way over there? You didn't. You didn't see me at all. I know it. 
Oh god. Uh Mm-hmm. Don't worry. You might act like a tough guy, but guess what? I'm still going to win. Yay! I won. My friend says this is one of the most enjoyable fight in the entire game. I disagree. Yes. Don't worry, he's still alive. He's still alive and I got, as always, magically teleported. And tell me why the fuck they made it so we can leave this area without grabbing Monty's claws. There should be something what preventing you from, you know, being softlock. Because you're risking being softlock if you will not grab those. And once again, I remind you, those are his legs, not his claws. Uh, but anyway, let's just go to part and service, okay? Let's just go to parts and service and yeah, the reason why I came here for Monty because even if Mercedes Maze is total dumb puzzle created for dummies sorry my negligence and no positivity uh, but even if the entire fucking thing is created dumb and annoying as possible the, the, the commission of Monty really helps you later on because Shattered Monty cannot be summoned by security bots. He cannot and he cannot chase you because he has no legs. Uh, he is more like a stationary turret now, you know? Or mine, should I say. You know, don't step into him and you're gonna be fine. And besides that, not much I can say. If you go for the commission of Chica, Chica pretty much do not change it at all. Uh, but Monty still is problem then, like, he has his legs and he's immune on the fast cam and the faster blaster, so you playing the harder version of game, pretty much. So yeah, I'm glad we took Monty down. Now we have to upgrade the Freddy and I think I still have time for this. I still have time for this. Uh, so let's go. Let's do this. I'm sorry, not much what I can say. At this point, everyone either, you know, kind of doing well <sighs> without any guide or everyone just quitting duo two bugs. I don't know which person are you. Are you enjoying be suffering from the gay side? Or are you just looking for kind and fair gameplay and you are quitter? I won't judge you. I won't judge you, but if I started the series, I will finish it, okay? Regardless how much... How much... How much I have to suffer. How much shit game throw at me, I wanted to say, but... I really don't want to abuse offensive language. I really don't want to. As long as, as long as bugs and the low frame rate are not on my screen, I guess I'm kind of okay. I guess my personality is kind of okay. So now we have to go to part and service, and the way is over here. And just in case, let's save again. Or actually, no. Let's risk it, shall we? Let's risk it. Let's fucking risk it. Welcome to part yes, close upgrade. upgrade and magically Freddy is of course detective. inside. So let me be quiet because I need to focus and listen the sound cue, okay?
Let's begin by opening the arm casing. Disconnect the collared cables to remove the old forearm. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. So that's one. Great. Now place the new armature. Great. Now place the new armature in with the new armature inserted. Reconnect the colored wires. Great job. Now close the casing. Good job. Now use the testing console oh, to and complete the procedure. <sighs> Yes. to perform the procedure on the other arm. The auto assist did it for you. Oh, how kind. But you know the most ridiculous part of this entire game? This is more stressful and harder. And harder to finish than even boss fight. Because clicking anywhere but not on the button that you should have that you have to click on kills you immediately. Like seriously, clicking anywhere but not on the button here kills you. That's how sensitive it is. It's not like you click the air not on this fucking thing. No, you have to specifically click on a button because clicking one pixel away from button kills you immediately. So yeah, if the stupid Simon says it's harder to finish than even boss fight, clearly there is something wrong with the game quality. Can you tell? My arms are different. Where did you get these parts? I'd rather not say. Yeah. How fortunate. I should now be able to smash through the cyclone fences around the building the way Monty does. Exactly like he did. Yeah. Oh god, and in the fact those claws looks exactly like Monty claws doesn't mean anything. That's very very cool. Yeah. I am very glad that you made it to the recharge station, Gregory. Now that I have been upgraded, I should be able to access the Roxy Raceway. I have not been there for a very long time, but perhaps you can find some clues on how to deal with Roxy while you are there. Yes, and I think about finishing episode here. I don't know how long it is, but I think that's enough. Because now we have to go to Roxy Raceway. And once again, we have sound effects of moon dancing here. Not even gonna be talking about this, really. I'm just gonna say thank you for watching this. And if you enjoyed, check the other video. Take care and bye bye.